Good morning, everybody, and um, welcome to Atova's third product mm -hmm. session. Is it the third one? Yeah. Yes. Welcome, Luca from Unique in His Thank Image, you. and welcome to the listeners and to those of you who, are, who will be watching the video afterwards. Um, I'm super excited. Um, I'm doing the live this morning from our shop in Ermelo, and I'm sitting in the prayer room. So, <laughs> such an anointed oh, wow. space. Mm. Just to be excited to share with you about Diana's Bulbanella. Yes. Yes, I'm so ever heard of <laughs> Have you heard mm -hmm. of them before? No, to be honest, I haven't. So I've been looking into the products on your website, but I'm super excited to learn more today. Okay. So it's a product that I use myself. Um, I've been using it for a very long time, longer mm -hmm. than I've had a Tava for. It's actually a product that my mother introduced me um, to, so it's kind of prophetic. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a very good example of you shouldn't judge a book by its cover because um, mm -hmm. a lot of people, I'm sorry, think that because it doesn't have a fancy label, it looks quite dull, you know, that it's not a quality product, but it's one of the best product ranges I've ever used. Um, it's, really, it's really so organic. Um, some of the mm. products will even go bad if 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 it's too hot, because like if you use maybe like a face cream and your hands yeah. are contaminated, you use the product and it's very hot and you don't use it quick enough, it can actually go bad. And for me, that's always a good sign because it mm. shows there's no chemical preservatives or stuff added. It's just pure natural, um, yeah, yeah, ingredients. Um, so just to quick, give you a quick background about aloe, or about pulpanella. So I'm really, I've always been an aloe girl, and we'll speak about the benefits of aloe, you know, in a in another session. But even aloe or your or many of your um, succulent plants, the gel mm -hmm. that they produce, very beneficial for your skin. Um, it um, um, increases the um, elasticity of your skin. And the collagen. Um, I've okay. read one study on aloe specifically that said after using aloe gel for one week, the collagen in your skin goes up by almost ninety percent. That's cool. a lot. Yeah. Just I mean, if you look in many of your burn, um, you know the burn shield bandages that you buy for an emergency mm. kit, you need that as aloe gel in because it's really good for your skin. It's good for healing. Um, so I've just always been an aloe fan. fan. And then my mother told me about bulbanella. She lives in the Cape and it's something that grows there naturally. So bulbanella is also a type of succulent plant. It's a beautiful little plant. I've got some of them in my garden at home. Um, mm -hmm. It grows very easily. It's heat resistant. It's frost resistant. So you can really plant it anyway. And the best part, it, it is indigenous. So it's anti South Africa. Oh, um, that's it's amazing. But even some of the studies shows that um, Bulbanella is even more beneficial for skin than aloe. And you all know okay. how people have been praising aloe for centuries. Mm. So, yeah, Bulbanella can, yeah, it shows that it's even better for your skin. Um, like I've said, it's a, a kind of succulent plant. So, basically, the part that they use is the gel that comes out of the leaves. It's little okay. small finger like leaves that they mm -hmm. harvest and then they press that. And the bulbanella plant makes a beautiful yellow flower. So mm. this morning I was just sitting and asking about but yellow. You know, everything in nature has meaning. All the colors has meaning. Yeah. And it is interesting that yellow can sometimes in the Bible or as a symbol through the ages has been associated with disease, especially contagious disease, stuff like leprosy. Mm. And that was very interesting to me. And I think sometimes when you see that same color, that's almost like yellow represents the disease, but the color in nature then represents what you can use for the healing of those skin diseases. Oh, because wow. leprosy is a skin disease. Yes. Mm. And then what I also found very amazing is that the type of aloe that's the best of the aloes, considered to be like the Rolls Royce of aloes, that has the most benefits is called the um, aloe vera barbadensis miller. It's an aloe that originates from Ethiopia, and it has a yellow flower. Sure. Other aloe plants has um, um, 
orange flowers and stuff like that. It also has a yellow flower. So I think the yellow flower is really indicative of how healing the gel is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I've yellow on today, so <laughs> confirming oh, that. <laughs> Confirmation. Um, yeah, yeah and, and yellow can also stand for hope and victory. So, yeah, so most of um, that. Diana's bulbanella has bulbanella in the creams, especially. Okay. Um, and I visited her in Vitrophy. That's where her factory is. She's a mm -hmm. very humble lady who really started from scratch and she built up her little business. And she's got over 10 employees working for her. Um, and they mix everything by hand. She mixes fresh batches every day. She grows her own bulbanella. Her, hus her husband goes out in the morning. He will harvest the bulbanella. They will press yeah. it and he uses it immediately to mix it in with the other ingredients because mm -hmm. the other ingredient acts like a preservative. Okay. Um, it's very difficult to store bulbanella gel just as it is because it can go off quickly. Okay. But if you have some in your garden and you plant some, it's mm -hmm. very good to use. Even if you use it once a week, you, you, you pluck some leaves and you squeeze out the gel and you use it fresh. Okay. So um, just in general, bulbanella, if you have it at home, it can be used for all skin condition, eczema, mm -hmm. psoriasis, cradle cap for babies. And it's not, it's not harsh. You can put it on a little baby's skin, nappy okay. rash, wounds, and especially burns. And it's really, really anti-aging. Like I said, it increases the collagen and the flexibility of your skin. Um, okay, so I want to go through a few products. We mm -hmm. we have many of Diana's products. Um, so you can go on our website and search Diana's and go through all the products. We're not going to have time to cover all of them. I'm just going to look at some of my favorites that I've used for a long time. And she also has her own website. She has so many products. So if you see something that we don't carry, you can just send us a request and we can start, you know, ordering that in for you. If you like to shop at Atava because we've got all the different brands, um, yeah, we can get any of the products. She just has so many. It's difficult to, to keep all of them in stock. So the first one I want to talk about is this big, big one. <laughs> but actually, all of the creams, comes in different sizes you get the the very big tub i think this is 500 grams yes okay and then you get it in a smaller um i think 100 and then a 50 gram so it comes but but for this one i prefer the big one the reason is this is called um diana's beeswax cream so it's a basic bulbanella body cream and but it has beeswax added to it and as we no, beeswax is also very good for your skin. Um, and bees, beeswax and honey has a life probiotic in, which is also very good for your skin. So it's such a long list. All of these small things are things that it's good for and that you can use it for. So we you can talk about all of that. It will just take forever. But um, just a short of it, I use it as a body cream. It is super, okay. super moisturizing. It's really, for me, the best organic natural cream that you get it's thick it's moisturizing i use it on my children and mm -hmm. the lady who i used to buy this from before i had a tava she's got like a big bush of curly hair she's got the most beautiful curly hair and she mm -hmm. uses this as a hair cream she will wash really? her hair dry and she'll take some of the cream and she'll just scrunch her hair with that and it will leave it shiny and the beeswax in that will make it curl nicely it's almost like a, um, you can use it as a hair mask as well. Um, you can use it on your feet. Um, if, you, if you've got very dry feet, you can put it nice and thick on your feet and then put a sock over and you sleep like that. Um, yeah, it's just an overall. You can even put it on your face. If you don't have like a very sensitive face, or it's very dry, you can use it as a normal face. So that is the Beeswax Bulbanella. We also have the normal Bulbanella body cream so that's exactly the same it just doesn't have the beeswax added to it but i prefer the one with the beeswax and it's just even more rich and i'm a bee fan because i also farm with with fat um with bees i, I produce honey <laughs> so i like the bee products and we yeah. understand why you have the big bottle because of the many uses of it exactly um it's got a um 
um, active probiotic. It contains no um, preservatives. I just quickly want to say it's got bulbanella in, beeswax, tea tree, and some other essential oils, and no preservatives. Okay. So it's very plain, but amazing. And what you can do, if you don't like, because it's so natural, it doesn't have a very strong, like a floral scent, because we don't use any, we, we, don't, we try not to sell any products with any synthetic fragrances in. Fragrances mm -hmm. are very bad. I think we must have a talk about that one day. Yeah. But if you want it to smell more like something, what you can do, you just buy a pure essential oil, like whatever you like, a lavender smell, and you add some into the cream and you mix it up. Um, at one stage, I used a lot of cinnamon, and I would add cinnamon mm -hmm. to this because it's good for your blood flow. So, yeah, you can just flavor it if you want to. Mix in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the second one I want to speak about... Oh, and this has been my, this was my first product and I think still my favorite. Oh, I just said this one's my favorite, but I think this one's my favorite. <laughs> it also comes in three different sizes. You also get it in a big jar, um, but okay. uh, it is a bit more expensive. So, yeah, if you're willing to pay the price, you can buy a big, big bottle. But I use this as my night cream or, okay. or as a day cream. It's very rich. Um, so it's called the Diana's Honey Bee Anti-Aging Day and Night Cream. And what this okay. has extra in is beeswax, honey, mirror, and neroli. So neroli is very good for your skin. Yes, and it smells nice. Mm -hmm. And because it has the honey in, it's just so moisturizing. It gives you such a natural glow. Um, yeah, so this is really a nice one to use. Also very good as a heel balm. Diana actually has a very good heel okay. balm separately, but this works just, just as good. Um, just always take note, if you're pregnant, don't use products with mirror in. You shouldn't okay. use um, mirror oil, okay. Um, and is that for, suitable for all skin types? Okay, that's the next thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> King a sip of coffee. So, it it, it, um, our, it is suitable for all skin types, but some people's skin um, is more sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've had people or friends who had very sensitive skin who are very sensitive actually to essential oils. Essential, mm -hmm. essential oils will break out. But that's, that's really the minimum. Um, I've spoken to Diana about that. And, and again, it's not in all cases. Some people are just sensitive to oils. But she okay. said many times when you start using organic products um, and you start to get pimples, sometimes it's your, your skin detoxing. You should drink lots of water okay. and start to eat healthy and just continue mm -hmm. with the product. Because we forget that our skin, it's not only what we put on. Mm -hmm. You know, most of your skin health is what you put in your mouth and if you drink a lot mm -hmm. of water. So sometimes um, what you put on your skin can just exaggerate something that's going on, on deeper. But okay. if, it, if you find that maybe it is um, too rich for you, you can always use it as an eye cream. Okay. I like the rich of it. I don't mind that little bit of shininess because it makes, I feel it makes me look healthy. So then maybe you will prefer it rather as a, a, um, a, a night cream, as a day cream. But you can put it on, leave it on for 10 minutes so most of it absorbs. And then mm. that that didn't absorb, you can just pat away with some tissue paper. Okay. Yeah. No. Thank you. Um, also, what, what is nice, if you use like a little bit of, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't like to wear makeup every day. But if you have a special occasion, I'll use some of my cream and I'll mm -hmm. mix it in the palm of my hand with a little bit of um, of my foundation. So it's not okay. the foundation, not thick, and I'll put that on. And it just gives you that little bit of a tint. Okay. I'll okay. Put it. So that, yeah. So the second thing I want to show you, when I visited Diana at a factory, she's, mm -hmm. I think, in her 50s, but she has the most beautiful skin. She just, she doesn't have one wrinkle. Some of it is genetics, but you can see she does look after the skin. So obviously yeah. she has such a big range of day creams and night creams. So I asked mm -hmm. her, what do you use? What's your go-to product? Because usually that tells me a lot about, you know, yeah. indicating. So the one that she uses is called um, Diana Saffron Be Flawless of the Ploy Lewis. So okay. if you read on it, it's almost like um, 
You can also kind of use it as a temporary mask. You can put it on and then wash it off after like 60 minutes. But it says here you can leave it on overnight. So she uses it as a day and night cream. Um, but it contains beeswax, raw, raw honey. It contains saffron and other essential oils. Um, okay. But it's even more rich than the other ones. It makes you quite shiny, but it really takes away the, um, the wrinkles. Also good to use as a as an eye cream. So it's got like the little saffron flower in there. So what the saffron the... <laughs> Sorry, yes. <laughs> you were just no, no, about to ask. answer what I wanted to ask. What's the benefits of saffron? I must be honest, I, I've, I haven't read up exactly on that the details. I just okay. know I like saffron. I cook with it sometimes. But in the mm. old days, it was seen as a real a royal ingredient because it is okay. super expensive. It's made from a very, very, very small flower. And okay. the, the um, vatumiseri mildroiki is the strands of the flower. That's what okay. they harvest. And what? each flower only makes two or three. So for them to get a kilo of saffron is so expensive. Mm -hmm. So it was only the kings and the very rich who were, um, could ever afford to use saffron in their cooking. But it has a lot of um, beneficial yeah. traits. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, then this one is very nice as well. Just I can't remember all the ingredients of every product. Mm -hmm. okay. but this is the Diana's B new coffee scrub and mask. Ooh. It smells delicious, it smells mm -hmm. like coffee. So it also has your beeswax in your raw honey and coffee grounds. So you can use that and scrub your face. It stimulates the blood flow. Or you, and then you can leave it on afterwards for a little while as a mask. And it just smells nice. And it's just, yeah, it give, gives a nice um, effect. It says it perks up your skin. It's good for redness, cellulite. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, yeah, and then just a list of, of other benefits. So it's just a nice scrub to use if you, if you are looking for a scrub. So that's a honey question. Yeah. Um, and then I don't have it here, but she's got a mud mask that we also sell, which I mm -hmm. also kind of like because it comes in a powder form. Okay. So it's made of a, a good quality um, a mud powder. But which is what I like about the powder form is you can choose what you mix it with or you can um, mm. change it every You can mix it with a good quality organic um toner that doesn't have alcohol in or even things like um, plain yogurt is very good for your skin so you can take some of the mud and mix that with plain yogurt you can mix it with honey or honey and yogurt so that's nice you can just make your own mask mm -hmm. and use that yeah. um, then the last of the beauty products that i want to mention today um, is the diana's b new coffee oh no that's the one we just talked about sorry i think i took two of the same um, yeah, it's two of the stainless, but never mind. They don't look different, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's called the um, non chemical peel, no, the uh, natural yeah. non chemical peel. And that's really one of my favorite. Also, it's such a nice product, and I only recently discovered it. So it's not really a non chemical peel, like in the sense of you put it on and your face peels off, like with a mm -hmm. chemical peel. What it is, it's a product with a super, super, super fine bead in so it's like a scrub but it's super fine so when mm -hmm. i put it on my skin and i start scrubbing immediately my skin turns red but mm -hmm. it's not sore it's just the blood flow that's coming to your skin and it just okay. gives you that glow and i will just scrub with it and you can also leave it on for an hour or two or even four hours and then wash it off so it's a okay. good thing to do like late afternoon and then keep it on until you shower in the evening but that's super fine it's just the finest scrub. It's like sandpaper, but it doesn't damage your skin. It just gets into all of the small pores and it just polishes off that layer of dead skin cells. It's mm -hmm. really an amazing product. Um, and it, that's very nice to use together with the, um, yeah, with the face creams. After I do that, I'll put on my, my face cream. Sure, yeah, I saw it's a really interesting product with all the benefits that's listed on the website as well, especially for acne and inflammation. So, um, yeah, you can really bring the spa to your home with these products. <laughs> and you can even um, 
like the um, honey bee cream. Which one mm -hmm. is it now? This one. You can even put that on an open wound because the honey is healing. I feel many wounds with raw your honey. It kills the bacteria. It's healing. You can even put that on a raw wound and close it with a bandage and it will, it will do the work. So the last couple of things that I want to show you of her, we also mm -hmm. spoke, the previous session we spoke about the children products i mentioned that she has a, a toothpaste remember yeah 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 I did speak about that um yeah so i didn't actually add it today but she has a toothpaste but it's good it's very safe for children but it's a total different experience so i don't brush with it every day because it doesn't foam it doesn't taste minty but it really does work your mouth feel feels clean afterwards okay Okay, so the last thing I want to mention, I was so excited because I didn't know she had these products. I've been selling her products for a while, but because she has so many products, it's just always this long list to work through. And one day I just sat and I just worked through everything. And then mm -hmm. I saw she sells capsules and I was like, okay, what's in the capsules? Yeah. So first of all, we do have empty capsules that we sell of her. It's of bovine origin. <laughs> Sorry, it's my son. He's just toying with the door. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> But what I was very, very, very excited about, when we spoke about the, the medicine that we use for the children, um, that I really do believe in frankincense and mirror. It's just mm -hmm. good for your health in so many ways if you use the oil, but especially if you drink the, um, the resin. Okay, so the mm -hmm. resin is the, basically the gum of the tree that they dry. So it comes in little pieces like this. They're different sizes. You can burn them. You can drink them. And even as an adult, if you drink them regularly, it's good for overall health. It can be an antibiotic. It just it, because it works on on your on your genes. Okay. But it's a very low form of the frankincense and mirror. So it's not as strong as the oil. But again, sometimes the the the, the more um, diluted versions are good to over a long period of time. Mm. But what makes it difficult sometimes when you travel because you have to have this bag of, I call them clippies because they look like yeah. little rocks. But then I saw that Diana has them in a capsule form. So they grind them to a powder and then okay. they fill the capsules with it. So it comes in different sure. sizes. They come in little travel bags like this or they come in pots like this, which have like 60 in. Or I can order you a bag of a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> depends how many you can get your whole family is drinking it but it's just super nice if you travel and if your children mm -hmm. get old enough to swallow a capsule you can give this to them so you can get your mirror and frankincense in every day so the mirror is the red one okay I know most of you will speak again about the prophetic meaning of the mirror which is symbolic for the messiah and his mm -hmm. blood that's why it's red and the frankincense is for the bride and her purity, that's why it's white. So they work good together. But again, okay. don't drink mirror if you are pregnant. Okay. So can you take they, both of these capsules daily or would you say rather weekly or doesn't it matter the frequency? If you if you are good at drinking stuff every day, you can drink it every day. It will be so good for you. Okay. Um, it will just be beneficial to you. I'm just not good at that. So I usually drink, drink it when I'm sick. Um, okay. If you can drink both, if you're not pregnant, we think you can drink both because they enhance. They're the only oils that enhance each other's working. Okay. So if you need frankincense, but you take the mirror with, the mirror helps the working of the frankincense. And if you need mirror, you take the frankincense with. And that's why it's so prophetic because it's the bride yeah. and the Messiah working together. Wow. So um, the, the loose rule is that Everything above your navel, especially your lungs, your sinuses, mm -hmm. flu, colds, ear infection, blocked ears, all of that you can use frankincense for. And okay. everything below the belly, your hormones, your stomach, um, your intestines, all of that's good. Mirror is good for that. Okay. So, yeah, that's the, the guideline. My mother has a, I can't remember the name, but she has a degenerative a genetic eye disease where the cells mm -hmm. in the back of the eye dies down slowly and it distorts the letters and it's a disease they really cannot do anything they can slow the process but they cannot reverse it so for over 10 years she had to get inject injections inside of her eye yeah. so she has to keep an eye open and they inject Ooh, it into yeah. 
terrible. It's like yeah. a night of nightmares. But mm. anyway, my mother drinks the resin every day. And there was one stage when she went back to a doctor and he did a test and he saw improvement in her eyes. And he said in all of his history, he never seen improvement. Um, and I think believe that's because of the, the resins, because it works on cellular level and it works on your DNA. Sure. That's amazing. Okay, and the last two, um, but you can. We've we've got a full description of each each product on the website mm -hmm. as well, so you can go read up on it. Yeah, the really one nice. is called Diatomaceous Earth or Diatoms. It okay. is made of a water plant, but it's a microscopic level. So they 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 extract basically the um, goodness of that plant. Um, yeah, and it's just good for so many things. Um, from allergies, very good for allergy, allergies. From epilepsy, from sure. just almost the list is so long. It's just so beneficial to drink. Um, mm -hmm. So you can go read up on the diatomes. But again, it comes in different sizes. So it's just a good thing to have in your house, or for your health to have in your house. And then the last thing, the diatomes is quite affordable. So it's good to okay. just drink as much of it as you can. <laughs> and then the last one is called magic gum. So it's also something you read about in the Bible. It's yeah. a type of resin also from a tree. Um, I haven't used it that much. It's also one of the new products, but if the bit I've, I've read about it, it just makes me so excited. Um, it's specifically very good for your intestines. So if you struggle with any stomach problems, um, she just listed here, yeah, stomach cancer, colon cancer, and peptic ulcers. So almost all of the things she lists has to do with your, your intestines and your stomach. Crohn's disease, it even helps for high cholesterol. And then you get a specific, um, they call it the helicobacter bacteria. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a bacteria that lives in your gut and in your mouth, and it gives a lot of people health problems. And it can give some people very bad breath. And this kills that bacteria. But yeah. it's a bit more of an expensive capsule, but also a very good something to add to your arsenal. Yeah. Have in your house. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so, Steve, I also just wanted to ask, I saw that there's soap bars as well, the Mirror soap bar and the Neroli one. Um, have you ever used the soap bars for your skin as well? She's got so bars, she's got cleansing milk that mm -hmm. she used. But to be honest with you, I haven't really um, used it there myself. She's got so many products. Usually when I found something I really like, I will try new things. That's how I found all of these wonderful products. Mm -hmm. But I try not to wash my face with soap that often, believe it or not. <laughs> so I use one of those special um, face floss, those extra okay. soft ones. It's something we... We now want to um, start selling through a tarp as well, just because it changed my life. Um, I've known many people who struggled with uh, skin conditions, who struggled with adult acne, who use those face loves, and it just, you don't have to use soap because mm -hmm. it doesn't remove the natural sebum of your, of your skin. Um, okay. But we, we, we keep it because there are people who like it and believe in it, mm -hmm. and that's why we have it, because it sells. But I personally haven't used them much. That's why, yeah. I didn't add them to my talk this morning. <laughs> and is it the muslin cloths that you are talking about for your No, face? no. So I'll get a sample when we start. Okay. It's, it's, it looks like a fleece cloth almost. Oh, yeah? It removes makeup. If you do wear makeup and you use that to remove, it removes all the makeup, even the mascara, without any extra makeup removal. So. Oh. Um, it just cleans your skin so well. So, so most of the time we use that those cloths at home to to clean our faces with. So, yeah, I'm trying to find somebody who can either make them or where I can buy them to read. And it's actually a synthetic material, mm -hmm. but I mean, you're not wearing, you're not eating it. So, I'm okay with that. But the, those synthetic fibers are so fine; it just removes all the dirt without you having to use harsh chemicals on your skin. Okay, you know. so we're looking forward to that. <laughs> the best tip I've ever received from somebody for your face. So the best product for your face ever, the most natural product is your, your skin's own sebum. 
that it produces. So sebum yeah. is that oily part of your sweat. So when you're mm. sweating, you are sweating out water and salt, but then afterwards, mm. sometimes there will be the oiliness. So that's your sebum. It's basically a fat type of <laughs> yeah, product that your skin produces, and it's there to protect your skin. So what we do when we get pimples and stuff, instead of looking at your diet and, mm. and other stuff that you might be using, the first go-to for everybody is, oh, I need to dry out these yeah. acne pimples, and you overwash your face. But what mm. that does, you strip the natural sebum from your face, and your skin tells your body, mm, your skin is dry, you need to produce more sebum. So overwashing actually makes that you make more well. So you're actually just making it worse. So mm. the best thing to do, I used to get these, so let's say a blender basically, these big pimples mm -hmm. when I was a teenager. I didn't have acne. I would just get these red big bumps and they would never become a proper pimple. They will just swell up and they'll itch. And then eventually it will it will go away. And then I went to the, the pharmacist. She told me this. And she said, you know, when you get home at night, wash your face, put on your moisturizer. And then in the morning, you don't wash your face. You mm -hmm. can wipe it with a warm cloth or rinse it with warm water and tap it dry. But don't use soap twice a day on your face. Because you dry out the natural oil and then you'll produce more oil. When I did that, it went away. And I never, never oh. had that problem. Yeah, awesome. so that's the best tip I can give you. <laughs> no, thanks for all the helpful tips, Steve. It's a pleasure. Is there anybody um, that might have a question? I see so many famous, famous friends here again on the list. <laughs> Just scroll down for the first time. Hi, right. it's so nice to see that you've joined us. I miss all of these people. But if anybody has a question, they're welcome to ask. But really, this is a range I can um, can. Anybody can use it. It's. It, I think it's quite affordable. Um, it's really not harmful. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, great, great products. Awesome. Thank you very much, Steph. Definitely going to look on the website to see which products I want to try out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for next week, Tuesday, for our product session, um, I would like to focus on the kids again. I think we. I would like to talk about the kids books that we currently have and Yo. some new things that we have on the um, horizon. So if you're a mom or a grandparent, please join us. Um, yeah. <laughs> you must all have a blessed day. And this is the end of today's session. Oh, don't forget, tomorrow we have a live session on milk and honey. And we are talking about praying the word of God, how to do word prayer, um, what does it mean? How does it benefit you? We're going to have a special guest speaker. Mm. So please join us. It will be 9 o'clock tomorrow morning now. Yes. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Steve. Have a good, good day. Pleasure. Bye. Bye.